Welcome back to PA Live. Joining us today on behalf of the Wilkes-Barre Special Needs Playground Project to continue to raise awareness of the ongoing efforts of the Special Needs Playground Committee as they move into the next phase of a special needs project. Mm -hmm. We have Lizzie and Helene, Cheryl, Michelle, Nicole, and Simon. Everyone, mm -hmm. welcome. Simon is already <laughs> testing the product, which I so appreciate. He didn't come to mess around. I <laughs> love it. Good for you, Simon. You might be the first person to ever just be eating chocolate right when we get on air. If there was ever a time, it is today. So let's talk more about that. Yes. Okay, so Helene, we all know that the goal of this committee is to make an inclusive environment for um, a large part of what makes up our beautiful community right here in Northeast Pennsylvania. Yes. Talk to us about the Special Needs Playground Committee. The Special Needs Playground Committee, right now what we're doing is we're moving into our next phase. We're moving into the phase where we're going to be working on the playground where Challenger Baseball is based out of down at Evercore Field and it's called the bog down in the Miners Mills section of Wilkes-Barre and it's all about inclusion for everyone whether you're physically challenged if you have sensory challenges any type of challenges you have it's to get everybody out there to enjoy play and to enjoy being with everybody in the community no matter what your abilities are it's all about inclusion we love that and Lizzie I know we've seen you on the news a lot when uh, the Wilkes-Barre special needs playground was open to the public and we saw all all the people going and going there. So I know we have video of, of you on the, you know, the inclusive swings and the slides and all the different rides and experiences that you could, you know, partake in with friends of yours and the community. So it's so awesome that you're kind of at the forefront of a lot of this. Now, Cheryl, mm -hmm. I see that you're holding probably the box of chocolates that Simon <laughs> got into. <laughs> so talk to us about what's going on. Yes, um, we are having a Gertrude Hawk candy sale. We are selling candy bars for $2 a bar, um, all different varieties. It's um, a nice fundraiser. Uh, it's a great way to celebrate Valentine's Day, to give some sweets for your sweetie. Um, <laughs> We, and it's a very simple fundraiser. We have um, have a, f a few businesses that we've um, been able to put the candy boxes out at. A few? My goodness, you have over 10. <laughs> <laughs> we see yeah. Primo's Bakery in Wilkesbury, Taroni's, yeah. Clip and Fluff, Dunkin' Donuts, <laughs> Garrity's. Uh, where else are they? Uh, oh, Sorella Hair yeah. Salon, uh, UCP, Experience Fitness. You can go and donate there. So, I mean, this is a, a big uh, community yeah. effort. It seems. Um, yes, we've only started this three weeks ago, and we've already raised almost, or a little over three thousand dollars. And um, we've just gotten started. We have uh, no end date in sight, really. We're going to be selling these. Um, you can see any member of our committee. Uh, it's just a small way for you to contribute and um, help us make the parks in Wilkesbury uh, accessible for everyone. And um, the parks in Wilkesbury really are, the goal is to have it be a destination so that people from all over the different areas can come to the parks and be able to use them with their families that have special needs so that they can interact with other children. And um, it's for the autism community as well. So we're really excited about it. Yeah. And the response has been overwhelming so far. Yeah. Absolutely. I want to talk a little bit more about that response kind of on two ends. I obviously want to talk about the families that we're helping, but also to see all those businesses that are relevant ready and willing to help out. I mean, what does that mean to you as a committee member? Oh, absolutely. I was um, lucky to be invited to this awesome committee mm -hmm. and for a great cause. And, um, you know, I'm with Dunkin' Donuts, so we have our Dunkin' Donuts in Plains mm -hmm. and West Pittston participating. Mm -hmm. and, um, and any other business can participate. So um, I have mm -hmm. a flyer for businesses who want to put them up in their window. Perfect. We have lots of chocolate boxes that they can put them out and sell yeah. them and raise more money. And so I said there's not really a deadline on this. This can kind of go on, which I think is exciting to a lot of businesses who might just want to start that conversation. But, you know, Nicole, I also want to talk about the families. I mean, Simon is one of the many children who gets to benefit from having these new resources in our community. What kind of have you seen in him that you're hoping to share with more ch children? A lot of independence. Um, he is able to climb up to reach the slides and to be able to go on the swings. Uh, they're kind of built for him yeah. rather than other playgrounds who might not give him that ability. Yeah. Um, it's great. Uh, we get to take our 
his yeah. older brother, Owen, uh, who is typical, mm -hmm. and they can play together because Owen loves the playground as well. Yeah, how special to create those memories that I think a lot of us have maybe taken for granted Absolutely. and now making it a little bit more accessible and now continuing the trend, which is special to make even more. And Simon, I'm probably, I would be just as surprised as you to think that and see that these floors are as clean as you think. I think that's what you're looking at. But I, I, it also looks like you've been enjoying that chocolate. So uh, now you see yourself in the TV. So we have so many different varieties mint, lava cake, caramel, crispy pretzel, I peanut butter, milk chocolate, uh, ras which one's the other one? Raspberry, oh. almond, lemon cake, did you see so many cake different cake kinds, yeah. Dark so Dark many Dark different Dark options, $2 a pop, and if you wanted to mo know more information, Michelle's email will be on pahomepage.com, you also saw it right there on your screen, so we appreciate you all joining us today. Thank you for having us. Thank you. <laughs>